Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn various statements of second law of thermodynamics. In the previous video, we have seen or we have learned what entropy is and uh, uh, the change of entropy in reversible process and change of entropy in irreversible process. Hope you have completed uh, writing notes and also studying. Okay. So, moving on to the next topic. Uh, how do you give uh, or how do you state the second law of thermodynamics? We have various statements given to second law of thermodynamics. So, the coming to the first definition or first statement of uh, second law, here it is given that all spontaneous processes are thermodynamically irreversible okay so we have seen students what a spontaneous process is kindly uh, refer uh, to all the videos uh, which I have uploaded on thermodynamics okay so don't miss any of the videos uh, it will be easy for you to learn uh, each topic simply uh, uh, coming directly to statements of second law of thermodynamics it would be really uh, difficult for you so first what you do uh, previous topic uh, before that previous topic so like that uh, what all topics i have uploaded kindly uh, watch the videos try to learn the topics Okay, so now uh, all spontaneous processes are thermodynamically irreversible. This is the first statement of second law of thermodynamics. Now coming to second law of the uh, second statement, we all know that uh, heat flows uh, from uh, a hotter body to a colder body. That is from a body at higher temperature to a body at uh, lower temperature that's what given mentioned here in the second uh, uh, statement of second law of thermodynamics that is the spontaneous flow of heat is always unidirectional or is in one direction from a body at higher temperature to a body at lower temperature coming to the third statement third type of statement students it is not possible to convert uh, heat uh, completely into equal amount of uh, work done without producing some change somewhere this is the statement given by kelvin hence it is called as kelvin's statement third point students uh, third uh, uh, type of statement it is impossible to convert heat completely into an equal amount of work uh, without producing change elsewhere, which is uh, called as Kelvin's statement. Coming to the next point, as we all know, know that it is not possible to uh, uh, transfer heat from a body at uh, low temperature to a body at high temperature. That is from a colder body to a hotter body unless we use some extra, we uh, get some external assistance or uh, the same can be uh, given like this also. It is not possible to construct a machine or a device which operates in a cyclic process. Uh, uh, for uh, cyclic process, you can go through various types of thermodynamic processes uh, uh, which we have learned uh, in the uh, beginning. Okay, so it's not possible or it is impossible to construct a machine or device uh, which can operate in a cyclic process and produces no other effect other than transfer of heat from a body at lower temperature to a body at higher temperature and this statement was given by Clausius hence it is called as Clausius statement written students this is the uh, fourth type of statement of second law of thermodynamics Next, there are also statements given in terms of entropy. Below, put the side heading in terms of entropy. Kindly put the side heading and underline students. Completed. Now, the first statement in terms of entropy. Energy of universe, it remains constant. Okay, so we all know that energy of universe remains constant. But what about the entropy of the universe? While the entropy of universe will be 
continuously increasing and tends towards a maximum. Okay, so it always tends to be at a maximum value. Okay, so this is the first statement in terms of entropy. Who, which statement student statement given to second law of thermodynamics. Again, energy of universe remains constant, but entropy of the universe is continuously increasing and also tends towards a maximum value. Completed students. Next statement is all spontaneous processes are accompanied by a net increase of entropy. Okay. So in all spontaneous processes uh, we observe that there will be a net increase of entropy. That is the next statement in terms of entropy. Next one more statement students. This we have already learned in a reversible process entropy of the system and surroundings combined together it remains constant. Then what about the reversible process entropy of uh, system and surroundings uh, it uh, increases. In a reversible process entropy of system and surroundings taken together remains constant whereas in an irreversible process entropy of the system and surroundings increases okay so these are the various statements of second law of thermodynamic students okay so this is all for uh, today's video we will meet in the next video with a with a new topic kindly write down these points in your notebook